Hello, today we're going to be working on circles. We're going to be learning to draw circles carefully and we're going to make some patterns using circles. What we're going to use a pair of compasses to draw our circles to make sure they're, they're very accurate. This, this is a pair of compasses. There's all sorts of different types. I've got um, a much more technical one here. Um, which is really nice to use, but as most of you will be uh, using something like this, I thought I'd use one of these today too. It's called a pair of compasses, just like a, the thing the the instrument you use to cut paper is called a pair of scissors. A compass is it's a different thing. It's a device that helps you to work out directions. But we're going to be working today with a pair of compasses. What I suggest you do first is use your pair of compasses to draw a number of circles just get used to using them i've got i've got a long pencil in my pair of compasses here which makes it quite awkward as you'll see when i when i twist twist the top round the the length of the pencil gets in the way if you've got a short pencil or you could cut one down it does make it much easier but i'm going to persevere with the compass of the, the pair of compasses i've got today this bit is quite sharp, don't stick it in your finger. Let's put it on, on our paper. I've got squared paper, so I'm gonna put it on a point where the lines cross, and I'm going to just draw a circle. So I put the, um, the pencil on the paper, and carefully holding the top of the compasses, I move the pencil round really, really carefully. You'll notice it's a nice, sharp pencil when i get to here that pencil is going to hit my hand so i need to be very very careful in how i carry on round there you go there's a nice circle i would suggest that you practice a number of circles big ones and small ones use a couple of sheets of paper and get lots of practice in on drawing circles you can draw one inside because you've made a slight dent in your paper you can put your um the point of your compass in the set on the same point and draw another one inside being careful when that bit comes around to your hand there you go draw a number of different sizes doesn't matter if they overlap this is just practice try and keep nice and smooth and an even weight on your pencil there we go some nice nice accurate circles they do tend to get a little bit harder if you get really small let's try one here oh there we go if it comes out you can put it back in the indentation you've made and there we have a nice accurate circle as part of your practice i wanted to show you some interesting patterns you can make using your pair of compasses and circles. So I'm going to draw a quite large circle. I'm just going to make sure it's going to fit on my page. Here we go. There, nice large circle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the point of my, my pair of compasses on the edge of the circle and then the pencil should go exactly in the middle. If, it, if, it's, if it's moved slightly, just adjust it so it's perfect. Then I'm just going to draw an arc from one side of the circle to the other. Looks a bit like a sad face at the moment, doesn't it? Then I move along, put the point of my com pair of compasses on the point where the arc I've just drawn intersects with the circumference of the circle. And I'll do exactly the same again. Just make sure that the pencil is going to go exactly to the middle. Draw another arc. It should go to the point where you started your previous arc. And then if you just keep going, your point of your compass, this isn't a very good compass, um, on the point where your previous arc intersects, check that it goes exactly to the middle and then draw another arc. Then 
move along to the next point that you've just created. Check that it's going exactly to the middle. There we go. Move along to the next point here. Make sure it's going exactly to the middle. That does seem to have moved a tiny bit. I'm just going to adjust, draw another arc, move round the next one, check it's lining up carefully, and there we go. And you'll find you've drawn a flower. So you've drawn a six point flower. You can colour these in, make them look as pretty as you like. I'll show you a couple I've done uh, in a moment. Here's, here's one where I've joined up a number of different circles and I've continued the arcs. So my compass, pair of compasses started here. You can see I've drawn the circles like this. But then as I've gone to the edge of my original circle, Instead of drawing just an arc, I've gone all the way around. But when I've done, when I've carried on further out, I've just drawn an arc there. And depending on the size of your piece of paper, you can go on and do as many as you like. I just want to show you a different one now, which is a bit more complex. This one, I've done two lots of arcs. So I started in the middle. I'm just using this other comp this other pair of compasses because it's just a bit easier to show you. This goes right out to the edge there, draws my big circle. Then I've chosen my point on my circumference and I've drawn my arc. When I've gone round all the way, I've got a six point flower. What I've done then is tried to find exactly the center point between two of the points of the flower and I've done exactly the same thing here and I've drawn another six points so I've actually got a 12 pointed flower there can you see so it's nice and straightforward you need to keep a very steady hand keep your pencil sharp make sure that your pair of compasses is at the right setting each time you draw an arc and you should have that with a flower to do the other one let's just have a look at doing that shall we if I go to that center point there make sure I'm still in on for the middle and I can draw the other set of petals for my flower you'll notice that it creates some really nice spaces in here they should be all reasonably even which gives you some lovely geometric patterns to colour in there you go let's just finish this off This is a very old pair of compasses and the point is not very sharp and it's caused to be a few problems here but uh, I'm sure you'll have a nice new pair of compasses that will do you well. There you go so there's there's our 12 pointed flower um, with lots of places for you to colour in. Be as creative as you like and do as many as you like. There you go hope you have fun see you next time.